I am recording this now. This is how to make your own city repo using GitHub Pages. Um, you can also use your own domain, but I'm using GitHub Pages. It's easier, quicker, and yeah. So let's get started. Um, why would you want to host your own repo instead of using, I don't know, things like uh, your iRepo or um, my repo space? Because you get to control uh, what goes on there and how much space and stuff you can use. Unlike those other sites where you have to pay for more space. So, um, to get started, you want to create a GitHub account. I already have one. I've had one for a while now. I think about two, three years now. Um, yeah. So, anyways, let's get started. Just set up a GitHub web page for your site, for your GitHub. You can go to pages.github.com. You can use. Um, Called the step by step tutorial on how to uh, set up a GitHub web page. Um, since you're on a Mac, you um, will create the repository. So you will go to your profile. Okay. You go to repositories and you go to new. And then you type in uh, the repository name, but you want to use your username. I already have my username, so I'm not going to. But basically, your username of your repository dot GitHub dot I see mine already exists, so you basically do that and hit create repository. Don't worry about the README. If you want to README, you can. Um, so we'll close that out. Um, we'll go back to this. And you don't have to create an index file if you want to create one, whatever. Um, you can clone the repository by uh, using GitHub for Mac. So you go to desktop.github.com, download GitHub for desktop. And once you're there, is you set up in desktop. So when you're in GitHub desktop, you want to clone it, uh, clone your repo to whatever place on your desktop, and you should be good to go. And okay, now here comes the fun part. Um. So you're at icodeapple.github.io or whatever you want to call it. Um, but how do I add a repo? Well, you can either add another folder in your GitHub IO after you clone it. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. I'll show you how to clone, right? That I kind of briefly just went over it. Um, so, if you forgot to clone it, then you can just hit clone, and then you find your repository. So you type in your your name, your username should come up. Hit clone, clone it to your desktop or documents or whatever, and it'll clone it. Yours won't take this long because it won't have anything on there unless you uh, did something. So what you do is from there you clone it and you go in here and you'll add a new folder and you'll call it repo um, Cydia um, beta whatever you want as long as it's short and sweet so we're going to repo and in there is where all your beautiful files will be. Now this, here comes the fun part. Don't worry about 
the assets and the index and the info stuff that you know all that stuff is it's your website stuff I don't know um a city icon uh the city icon that PNG is what it will show in city of but when right beside your repo um you know when you install a city repo so repo So, you know, when you add your repo, there's that little icon right here. Yeah, that'll show up if you use this CD icon that PNG. And as I've mentioned, this is 60 by 60. Um, that's just what it is. So you can add that in there, make it look nice. So I'll briefly explain these to you. The packages file is your dev file, um, uh, control file pretty much. So like uh, you can go in your devs and say you have your control file. You did this is before it's. Uh, I'm gonna extract it real quick and I'll show you. Uh, yeah, you won't have to worry about extracting it, but if you want, you can. I used to add Archiver. It's free on the app, Mac App Store. You can download it. Um, so in here, you'll have these your control file, your data, but you just need your control file. So I'll extract it again. So say you have your control file. You open that with uh, a thing. See how in your control file when you, when you compile your dev, it's the same thing here, but with a few extra things. So like. See, the first top part is what your control file is. Because if you don't have that, every time a person installs, set up a repo and they do a refresh in Cydia, it will tell them that there's an update, but when they install that update, it will still show an update, even though there's no update available. It's like some weird glitch in Cydia. I don't know why it's like that. It is what it is. So those have to be the same. The only thing that's different is you you get a size, a file name, an icon on the file system if you want one, you don't have to have this, an MD5 sum. You need it, you always have to have the MD5 sum, you always have to have the file name, and you always have to have the size. The reason why is if you don't have a file name, Cydia will throw an error and say this package is not found and won't install. If you have the incorrect size, it won't it won't download, it won't download, and it won't install. If you don't have an MD5 sum, it's going to throw an error. So you have to have all those three. But how do I find those? Well, that's, that's an easy, uh, uh, that is a trick question. Um, to get the MD5 sum, you want to type in sudo MD5 in terminal. So you go to uh, search for terminal on the Mac or whatever terminal you prefer um, and hit sudo md5 drag in your dev file from wherever you have it at um, click enter type in your password and then here's your md5 sub it should see how it, this md5 is the exact same md5 I have here So here's your MD5. How do I get the size? Simple. Get info. See where it says 16.7 megabytes? Cydia doesn't read that. They he, they read it in bytes. Cydia reads it in bytes. So you need to get this bytes. See how this bytes match up with this? You basically where it's, see where it says see where the size is? You remove the commas. There you go. There's your size. Now, your file name is where it's located on the server. In this case, it's where it is in the repo. So, you've used, I'm pretty sure, the dot slash for websites before when you're trying to find like an image or something. Well, that works here too. The file name is dot slash devscom dot. Your, basically your name of your, your debian file but 
if you don't want a subdirectory in your repo, you could just do this. So the line as it sees it, so dot slash this. So you can have a dev file, uh, I'm gonna move out to the desktop real quick, in your root directory, and it'll find it too. But in this case, I want mine there. So we're not gonna save this, but you may be asking, how did I get the BZ2 and GZ files? Well, I'll explain the, about those in a few minutes. Um, a release file is needed as well. Uh, it tells Cydia what your repo name is, or what its description is, and all that good stuff. Your origin and label always are the same. They're the same. They're your names. Uh, your suite is always stable. Version is always 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. .0. code name is stable. Those stay the same. Architecture stay the same. With iPhone OS components main description. So the only thing that really changes is maybe your version, your name, and this. I have this on my GitHub. You can get it. I'll give you the link. But what is a release GPG file? Well, you ever went to install a Cydia repo and it said uh, error GPG file not found or something like that? Big old yellow uh, text. Well. Every city repo is required to have a GPG release file. Um, it's, a, it's a certain signature that APT in general uses on Linux-based systems. Um, so it's not just Cydia. But uh, I don't really remember how to do this, how to make the GPG file, so I'll just let you use mine. It don't matter as long as you have a GPG file, it, your city repo will work. Okay. But how do I... How do I get these packages, GC file, VZ2 file? Well, I'm going to move these out to a desktop. <clears throat> you think, oh, well, I can just right click and compress it. No. You need to use two commands. One command is for packages. So, so VZ2. Oh, sorry. I think it's, no, I think it's GZ, GZ, GZIP. And then you drag in this file. And it does that, but that's for GZIP. How do I do it for BZ2? Pretty simple. sudo bzip2 set up bz2 yeah bz2 change that and bam. But you need to remember that once Mac does the Mac does this, you need to extract it out of these two files and drag in packages back in there. Once you're done with that, you're re ready to go and your packages will show up in Cydia. Um, so, but, before you do that, you have to commit your changes. So, you hit um, three, see where it says three uncommitted changes. You type in your summary, the description, whatever. Commit, click commit to master, sync it. Publish it and then sync it. And then you're good. It'll be live in Cydia. So, um, that'll be all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will give you the link to my uh, old GitHub repository you can look at. Um, and have a good one.